Unlike most auto manufacturers who commonly unveil a stunning prototype and then deliver a watered down, not as nice looking production version of a vehicle, Tesla has always improved upon the concepts they've unveiled and the Model X is no exception. Let's take a step back to February of 2012 and compare the Model X prototype to the production version that was actually delivered a few years later. I'm Jonathan and welcome to Cleaner Watt. On February 9th, 2012 at the Tesla Design Studio, the first Model X prototype was revealed. This vehicle immediately caught a lot of attention, much due to its iconic falcon wing doors, which actually caused Tesla a lot of production problems and led to production delays, which we'll talk about later. So let's take a look at how much Tesla improved upon the prototype that they unveiled in 2012. The most notable difference between the prototype and the production version is of course the front of the vehicle. Tesla initially included the same nose cone that was on the Model S, However, when Tesla started delivering the Model X in 2015, it had a new refreshed front similar to how they refreshed the Model S. Tesla also moved the indicator lights from the prototype down to a more integrated style, as you can see in this production version. Tesla also slightly redesigned the bottom front fascia of the vehicle as well. Another really noticeable change from the prototype to the production model was the fact that the Model X prototype did not have side view mirrors, but rather it had side cameras. Due to government regulations, the actual production version of the Model X had side view mirrors instead of these cameras. Hopefully sometime in the future, Tesla will be able to have these side cameras on their vehicles because they do reduce vehicle drag and in my opinion, they offer a much cleaner look. Also, when you look at the rear spoiler that was on the prototype design, when Tesla actually started delivering the Model X, they equipped the vehicle with an active spoiler that would raise and lower. After a short period of having this active spoiler, Tesla moved to a fixed design of the spoiler. Tesla also made some tweaks to the rear diffuser of the vehicle. As you can see here in this prototype picture, there was a very unique and distinctive rear diffuser with the Model X prototype. When the actual production model came along, it was slightly changed, not drastically, but slightly, and was a little less aggressive. Also, when you take a look at the side profile of the Model X prototype, you can see that the trim at the very bottom of the vehicle looks slightly different to what was actually manufactured with the production version of the Model X. When it comes to the interior of the Model X prototype, Tesla had this particular artist's rendering in 2012 of what they thought the interior would look like. When you actually move to the production version of the Model X, it actually looks very similar to the artist's sketch that they put out in 2012. One of the main differences I can see from this prototype drawing to the actual production version is the fact that the screen was slightly tilted towards the driver in the production version and it was better integrated into the dash. So those are the basic changes that I saw when comparing the prototype pictures to the actual production version of the Model X, but Tesla also made some internal changes and some technical changes as well. Initially, Tesla mentioned that the Model X would be offered with a 60 kilowatt hour battery pack and an 85 kilowatt hour battery pack. They also mentioned that they would offer three different versions when it comes to the powertrain. You could get the rear wheel drive version, the dual motor all wheel drive version, or the performance dual motor all wheel drive version. And when it comes to the performance claims, they mentioned that it should be able to go zero to 60 miles per hour in under five seconds. When 2015 actually rolled around, Tesla had then moved from an 85 kilowatt hour battery pack to the more improved 90 kilowatt hour battery pack. So the first models that were offered in 2015 were the 90D and the P90D versions of the Model X. In 2016, Tesla did end up offering a 60 kilowatt hour version of the Model X for a short while, but this version was discontinued after just a few months. The 60 kilowatt hour battery pack was actually just a software locked 75 kilowatt hour battery pack, which soon became the Model X's cheapest variant. The 75D and the 90D were eventually both discontinued and Tesla began to only offer the 100 kilowatt hour version of the Model X like we see today. When it comes to the powertrain choices, Tesla never has produced a rear wheel drive version of the Model X. Now at the beginning of the video, I talked about the iconic 
Falcon Wing doors, and this is really a huge part of what makes the Model X such a great vehicle. However, these same Falcon Wing doors caused Tesla a lot of headaches when it came to production. Initially, Tesla said that deliveries of the Model X would happen in early 2014. However, due to complications with the Falcon Wing doors, Tesla didn't actually deliver the first models until September of 2015. The first six Founders Series Model Xs were delivered at a market launch event at the Fremont factory in September of 2015. And in the full year of 2015, Tesla delivered a little bit over 200 Model Xs. Thankfully though, although 2015 started out slow when it comes to production, 2016 was a pretty good year and Tesla was able to deliver around 25,000 of these Model Xs. So now if you fast forward to 2021, Tesla recently released pictures and details about the refreshed Model X. A lot of attention has been given to the refreshed Model S, but of course the Model X got this refresh as well. Once again, Tesla made a slight change to the design of the front of the Model X, and you can see some subtle changes there when you compare the new to the old. However, when it comes to the interior of the Model X, Tesla gave that a completely new look with this refresh. With this refresh, Tesla also replaced the performance version of the Model X with a plaid version, a tri-motor version. Also, thanks to improvements to the Model X, Tesla is now able to offer well over 300 miles of range with the Model X with that same 100 kilowatt hour battery pack that they had before. Also, when you compare the cost of the Plaid Model X and the long range Model X, you can see just how good of a price it is compared to the older versions of the Model X. When it comes to performance, Tesla has also greatly improved upon that. The Plaid Model X will be able to go zero to 60 miles per hour in just 2.5 seconds, beating the old P90D with Ludacris, which was able to go zero to 60 miles per hour in around 3.2 seconds. And they've upped the top speed of the Plaid model to around 163 miles per hour. Interestingly enough, the long range Model X is now just as quick as the P90D used to be. So which version of the Model X did you like better? Did you like the prototype? as compared to the production version? Or do you really prefer the newly refreshed version with a brand new interior? Let me know in the comments below. I'd love to talk to you about that. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and that you learned something as well. If you're not yet subscribed to this channel, please consider subscribing. And if you do subscribe, if you click the bell icon, you'll be notified when new videos are published. Also, if you did like the video, please consider clicking that like button because that helps other people find the video as well. I also wanted to take a moment to thank the Patreon supporters who support me every month and help make this content possible. A special thank you to my performance supporters and also the other supporters listed on the screen. If you'd like to find out more about the Patreon community I've set up, I'll put a link in the description below. Thank you so much.